Hey everybody, my name is Michelle and I'm a volunteer here at the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center and today we're hanging out with our swift foxes. So we do have three swift foxes in here. This little girl right here, if she comes over, maybe she'll come up. Uh, so let's see. So this is Chiquita, <laughs> who just got the treat. Uh, this here, this is Dusty. Whoopsies. Here, Dusty. And Arnold just tried to steal the camera. Uh, so these are our three swift foxes. Now swift foxes, they are one of the smallest species of fox that is native to North America. And unfortunately they are considered endangered in a lot of places because of overhunting and trapping, but also because red foxes, which are not native to the United States, uh, are taking over their habitats and territory. Uh, so a lot of times swift foxes um, are still part of reintroduction programs. They're under the species survival plan, which is a reintroduction and captive breeding program, which we are very proud to be a part of. Um, in fact, the swift foxes are the only animals that are allowed to breed here at the center. Uh, part of the <laughs> uh, part of the reason why that they are the only ones to breed is because there is a uh, active release program for them. Um, it's not like the <laughs> it's not like the uh, wolves where there's no longer active release programs other than the Mexican gray wolves. Now our Mexican gray wolves, we also have them here at the center. They are still considered being part of the species survival program, but our two girls who are Star and Luna, they are retired, so they're not still part of that program uh, being bred actively. Now these guys here, um, they are one of the smallest foxes native to North America, like I said. They are, as you can see, about the size of a house cat, so real tiny little guys. Uh, unfortunately, we've never uh, successfully had a litter yet of uh, pups or kits, and so we're hoping that we'll eventually have those maybe this year. There's only two animals that are intact uh, in this enclosure. That would be this guy here. His name is Dusty. And then Chiquita, uh, she is the female in here. And then Arnold, this is Arnold. Uh, he is neutered, so he's not part of the breeding program anymore. Uh, they came from a couple of different places, different zoos uh, throughout the United States, and we are very, very happy to have them. Now, uh, you are probably familiar with some terms for foxes. Females are called vixens, people tend to know that, uh, but the uh, baby foxes, they are called kits, so they're not like wolves, which are called pups. Um, they're not like bears, like cubs. They are called kits, and the males are actually called dogs. Now these guys, they're not quite like the red foxes. The red foxes, they do have scent glands that make them smell like skunks. Uh, these guys, they also have a very musky smell and musky odor. Whoopsies. Uh, but they don't smell like skunks, but I think it smells worse. Uh, come here. So they're not very social uh, like our red foxes because they are still part of the reintroduction program. Um, so we don't actually come in here to interact with them. We just come in. Uh, we do like to hand feed them so that we, we can get a good look at them and make sure that nobody got hurt uh, or needs any veterinary checkups. Now they do get a once a year veterinary checkup anyway. Oh, I know you know what's in there. Uh, so that they can get their vaccines and anything like that that they might need routine care. Now, of course, like all foxes, uh, their main prey in the wild is rodents. And that is actually their favorite food. It's something that we even feed them here. Now, we don't feed them live rodents. Now, if they catch something, you know, like I said uh, on a previous blog, that is different. Oh, I know. You know what's in there. Uh, but they do still get what we call mouse sickles. And so I'm going to give them one of those here in just a second. Got to get Arnold some more food. There we go. Uh, but I'll give them one by one. So again, uh, you can meet each of our foxes. This is Dusty <laughs> and Chiquita. Come here. Oh, who's going to come? Come here. Arnold. Okay. And this is Chiquita, maybe. Come here. Arnold. Arnold. Chiquita. <laughs> and then Arnold. I need to toss it to him so Dusty doesn't steal it. <laughs> so now you can hear what a fox says. So this was our weekly wolf blog. Uh, let me know what questions you guys might have, whether it pertains to wolves, foxes, coyotes, anything like that. And we'll see you guys next week.